So once we complete our cash collections, so we've completed our cash collections, now we can go on to preparing our budget. Now, what we've got is our schedule of cash receipts and cash payments. And then we're going to look at our bank balances down here. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to transfer from my cash receipts, so from this schedule here, I want to transfer just the totals into my amounts here. So I'm just going to transfer these amounts down, 285000 300, 231,400, uh, 230,900. Now I'm not going to put a total in just yet, we'll just work our way down the page. So that becomes, once again, those become my total receipts. Now I want to have a look at my cash payments. So I need to refer back up to my other information that have been provided here. Now we made some adjustments earlier and it's saying that all these other items up here must be paid in cash. So you can always assume that we're just paying it in cash. So now I've got my cash receipts, I'm looking to make my cash payments. I'll just do them in the order that they appear. General admin expenses. General admin, so I've got 26,000. I've got 32,000. And I've got 41,250. So I can tick that one off. I've got utilities. I've got 4,250. I've got 5,100. And I got 6,170. Ooh, let me just block the sun there. Okay, what's my next one? Utilities. I've got wages. And my wages comes in at 89,200. 86,500. And 83, eight, ooh, 82,300. I'm not big enough to block the sun. All right, my next one is some loan principal. And my loan principal is a repayment. So I'm repaying my loan. And we're repaying that in, in um, March. So I tick that off. Loan interest, we, all, we worked out earlier that it wasn't going to be paid until uh, April, so we don't have to worry about that in this budget. Then we've got some marketing. Uh, 13,680. 13680, so it's three 13680s, and another 131680. So I can tick that one off. I got some vehicle related expenses. Uh, I've spelt vehicle wrong, let me just spell vehicle right. H I C L E. Vehicle, we've got 34,200. 35,600 and the adjusted amount of 34,600. So I can take that one off. Depreciation was a non-cash item so we can, don't have to worry about that. And my last item on my list is dividends paid. Which comes in at 15,000. And it ticks off my dividends paid. So now what I can do is I can come up with my total cash payments. 
and my total cash payments because I'm really fast at adding things up comes in at 167,330 my next total is 172,880 and my last amount is 208,000 So 208,000. Now I'm looking for my net cash flow. Now my net cash flow is just simply my cash receipts less my cash payments. So cash receipts less cash payments equals uh, 285,300 less 167,330 will give me 117,970. Once again, same sort of thing, cash receipts, less cash payments, so 231,400 less 172,880 is 58,520. We then got our last one, which is my cash receipts, less my cash payments, or 230,900 less 208,000 gives me 22,900. Now we need to work out what our bank balance is going to be. So the last little bit on my schedule is this. And at the very start we worked out our bank balance was 31,600. So bank balance at the 1st of January is 31,600. Now what I'm doing is I'm just adding my net cash flow to my bank account. So my net cash flow plus my opening bank balance comes in at 149,570. Now that becomes my opening balance for my next month. So I just put in 149,570. And then I'm looking for a closing balance which will come in at 208,090. And once again, that becomes my opening balance the next month. So I'll just quickly 08, 090. And what's my closing cash balance? It's 230,990. And that becomes how I prepare my cash budget. So that becomes my cash budget, which we get from my cash receipts and my um, cash payments.